Hey guys, it's Austin Blair here again with uh, Frontier Fields out here in Rockville City today. We are gonna go out and uh, check out the trial field and see how it's doing and maybe do some digging and look at plants. And we might have a special guest here today with us, so stay tuned and uh, see who's gonna come along for the ride today. Hello everybody, Ryan Herbeck here from Dewey's, Nebraska. Welcome to Frontier Fields. We're out here in the cornfield where we've got a couple trials going on. We got a special guest, Zach from Mosaic here. We're gonna go do some root digs and uh, kind of see what we see going on out in the field. Hey guys, we're just heading out to the trial field. We got our special guest, Andrew Fuff with us and we're gonna go take a look at the corn. Hey Austin, yeah, this is Andrew Foof with Paley Farms from Villisca up here uh, in God's country. You're gonna see some of Austin's crop, so I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, we got Zach here. We're gonna go in and do some root digs. Hey everybody, I'm Zach Eckler. I'm with the Mosaic Company. I'm the territory sales representative for Nebraska and it's, uh, it's, it's exciting to be here and see the things that we're gonna dig up today. At first observations getting out here, we're in the biopath trial right now. Just looking at the plants, they're green top to bottom as of now still. They're showing a little deficiency right here at the bottom, bottom leaf. So far, looking at ear height and placement and seeing how our emergence was with the ear height, that don't look too bad, so. I think he kind of hit it right here with all these new growth and where he just you know, made that application with the Y drop. I think he, you know, it is trying to find that biopath and yep. the biological stuff that's happening on the side of the. Even still seeing them white new roots like right there it, i mean they're they're if the row is right here they're sending out to go out there because they can sense that fertilizer and go get it so right now we're in the biopath treated overall pretty good uh, plant health uh, don't see a lot of disease uh, maybe a little bit of bacterial leaf strike but other than that we're staying pretty clean we did we did apply a, a v10 uh, fungicide application uh, just really is trying to stay ahead of the game and uh, you know all about that plant health uh, see if we can keep it keep it alive as long as we can from past data that we have um, you know we know that having a balanced nutrition in our plants is key we're seeing more and more all the time how more important micronutrients are to our actual crop health and yield ultimately, right? It doesn't always equate to yield, but if we can fix some things to help out with, you know, a stallment in the crop or whatever it needs at the time, which a lot of times we can uh, discover being out in the field, it will ultimately, ultimately make us more efficient. Not necessarily get us more yield, but make us more efficient. So yeah, we're just got them all washed up here. And so this is the biopath and this is the control. So we're just trying to see if there's much difference or not, and they look pretty uniform. Like I said, we just did the application here 10 days ago, so shouldn't see a whole lot, which is a good thing we're not seeing a whole lot of difference because that means they were both, both the trial and control had the same kind of conditions and stuff, so. Kind of like you in the past, I haven't been able to see any visual difference on the plants, even from in furrow early in the season, yep. but it showed up at the end at the combine, yep. and that's, that's that, kind of matter. That's what matters, the right? The one that pays the bills or pays for the products. So that's yeah. right. The trial is on this side here uh, with the biopath in it, in furrow, and that is just my grower standard. I mean, they both look pretty good, um, but I would have to say I would take these over over those. Just seems like these lower roots off them lower nodes are just cleaner and more alive of what I guess I would say. Healthier roots is healthier plant, which hopefully goes into more efficiency and, and more bushels in the grain tank is what we're all after. He hit the nail on the head. Seeing that, you know, bottom of that root system directly below the stock is evident to us, right? We see that and that's, the more roots, the better. Um, and to echo Brian again on the above ground growth, you, you don't see a lot and I, I guess in my shoes, we won't, right? We're, we're more, fo more focused below ground. This being an inferro application, we wanna see these more robust roots and healthier roots later on in the season. So my plan here moving forward with the year is uh, we're gonna get that sprayer going behind us here. Uh, we're gonna fungicide some of our acres yet that we haven't got done. And, and then moving forward, it's to gear up for harvest and we start right away with silage chopping, which is only 40 to 50 days away. So it'll be here before we know it. And then it's full bore after that. 
I'm interested to see what the wide drop does at the timing that he did. Yep. And then I want to compare it to where I did an in furrow and a wide drop trial just to see if there is any yield difference and then maybe next year do a trial kind of like what he did. Kind of moving around that timing just to see where it might fit better. You know, we both had we have had luck uh, with the product at a certain timing now. It's just kind of tweaking it to see if there's even a better place that I can fit there, so. So what we'll be going into now in this stage of the season here is we're gonna be getting harvest equipment ready, kind of going through that with a fine tooth comb, you know, and keeping an eye on, again, that late season health uh, of our crop. If we need to make another application, you know, keeping tabs on this crop, we got a long ways to go yet. Austin, thank you for the tour today. It was great to see your biopath trial. I'm interested to see your results of the season based on your timing and compare what, with what I'm doing on my farm. Mm -hmm. um, if you haven't seen season one with Frontier Fields, go back to YouTube and search up Frontier Fields season one. Thank you, Austin. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for coming. Just want to thank Zach for uh, joining us today. Uh, really do appreciate the insights that you've got and the knowledge. Make sure to subscribe to Crop Nutrition on YouTube to uh, stay up to date with Frontier Fields and see what these guys got going on. It's kind of getting hot, sun's coming out. Thanks for following along. Till next time.